Rollups in Salesforce are useful for organizing data specifically to your needs, but there are frustrating limitations, like a cap of 25 rollups per object, needing a master detail relationship, and the inability to include cross-object formula fields in rollup summary filters. That's why we've created Rollup Helper. You can roll up any information in Salesforce with clicks and not code, and it solves all of these problems. Some popular use cases for Rollup Helper include account hierarchy rollups and identifying the primary contact on an account. For this demo, we'll work on creating a rollup to identify the primary contact on an account. But first, let's start with the Rollup Helper menu. Create a new rollup. View existing rollups. Here you can view, edit, run, delete, schedule, or activate and deactivate existing rollups. Export to CSV will allow the rollups to be moved from one org to another or to provide a backup of your rollup configuration. For example, sandbox to production. Health check allows you to check on rollup helper status, view a risk level assessment for any issues, and offers action items to resolve any issues. Help in FAQ has resources like the admin guide. Enable real time for your rollups. Use case library to get inspiration on ways to utilize Rollup Helper. Join our Trailblazer community to share ideas, get questions answered, or help others. And you can monitor your rollup queue. Now let's create a rollup. Previously, we created a lookup field on the account called primary contact. From the home page, click create a new rollup. Select the object where you would like to see your rollup results. In this case, account. Select or create the field that you would like to roll up to. We want primary contact. If you create a new field during this step, make sure to add permissions and add the field to the page layout after you're done creating your rollup. Select the object where you would like to get your information from. We're choosing contact. Our only option is to do a text rollup, but there could be other options here. If you were doing a count rollup, the deleted field will be automatically selected for count rollups by default. A filter can be added later to narrow down the results that are returned in the rollup. And a tip for unique count rollups, you will have to select count rollup first, then you will have the option to check unique count. Select the field rollup helper should use as the source. I'm using contact ID. You can create or select from a previous filter to narrow down results. I've created a primary contact filter, but let's hit edit to see it behind the scenes. If you have multiple primary contacts on your record, you can optionally use the sort order functionality to change which contact is picked first. You might use created date or last modified date, for example. Add criteria that establishes how to identify the primary contact. This will be different for every company. Hit save. And then give your rollup a name. And look at the advanced configuration settings. Then hit save and run. You can optionally add parent filters before you run your rollup. You can create rollups to run manually, in real time, or be scheduled. Now, when we go back to our account, our primary contact field is filled in. Next, I'll show you how to enable real time. By default, your rollups from account, attachment, task, contact, and event records are enabled for real time. The list will only be populated by objects that you have rollups created from. If you don't see an object you want in the list, please verify that you have a rollup created that uses that object as the source. 
Objects that already have a trigger deployed are signified with a check mark. Remember, ensure at least one record exists that can be saved successfully for the object you want to deploy a trigger for. If no records for the object you want to deploy a trigger for exist, you may receive an error. Select the source object to enable or disable real time. After selecting the object, you will be directed to a page to deploy the trigger. Select the blue Deploy Trigger button. Do not leave the page while the trigger is deploying. Once the trigger deploys, you will see a message at the top of the page indicating that the trigger and class have been installed. Finally, here are some best practices to keep in mind. If you have a date filter on a rollup, be sure that it is scheduled based on the date criteria in addition to running in real time. This will ensure that if a record isn't modified by a user to trigger the rollup, the schedule will still keep the rollup up to date based on the date criteria. When scheduling rollups, make sure that the schedule frequency is not shorter in duration than the estimated runtime for the rollup. For example, if an estimated runtime for a rollup is two hours, the schedule should not be more frequent than every three hours. Optimally, rollups should be scheduled during non-peak business hours and not overlapping with other schedules that update the same parent object, but do not use the same filter whenever possible. Scheduled rollups will only update parent records for which the field value has actually changed. If you have validation rules on objects that are the target object of a rollup, be sure to enable Validation Helper in Rollup Helper custom settings. Steps on how to enable this setting are available in the custom settings section of the admin guide. The target field for the rollup must be writable to at least the system admin profile. The field can be read only on the page layout as long as the backend is writable. When refreshing a sandbox, be sure to follow the migration steps because filters are not automatically brought over. Set the email to send exceptions and custom settings to your email in order to receive an email alert of any rollup helper exceptions occurring in the org. And finally, if you change the API name and label to a pick list value that has a rollup filter on it, you will need to go back to the filter and update the filter value. If you ever have any questions, please refer to our admin guide, or you can contact support by emailing support at passagetech.com. Happy trailblazing!